Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today I have some helicopter gameplay for you. Now, as you may have noticed, that is not a helicopter. That is a Concept 3 being rocketed by one. Congratulations, astute viewer. That is true, however, I do not have any high tier tanks, so I am using this to get into my helicopter. Uh, not much has happened in this game, I've just sat behind a sand dune and scouted a tank, and now I'm running off to find somebody to kill me after capping that zone, because I now have enough spawn points. And speaking of people to kill me, that guy will do. And now, it's the star of the show, the G-Lynx. It carries uh, 8 Hellfires and 4 Stingers. Uh, it's a utility helicopter, so it doesn't have an inbuilt gun, but it also gets a 20mm gun. That's the loadout that I'm running here. Uh, you will also see some of the other loadouts later on in this video. But the G-Lynx is a very maneuverable helicopter. This particular version of the Western Lynx was at one point the fastest helicopter in the world. I don't have a keybind for thermal set yet, so I have to keep manually clicking it, which is annoying, but of course I'm not going to rectify that in this video. That would be intelligent. I have accidentally spawned in the wrong spawn. I meant to spawn in the Ford helicopter spawn, but as I said, fastest helicopter in the world. Now, I found that anti-air out there. The max range on these Hellfires is 8 kilometers, so I was just having to wait to get into the battlefield. I'm not sure where that missile's going, but hopefully it'll hit him. I can't even remember. This was recorded a while ago. I'm not sure what the horizontal lines that are showing up are, though. And he's gone behind a rock. Ah, uh, splash damage on something. Luckily that SU-25 got gunned down by the Jaguar, because that could have been bad. And now I guess I'll go for this guy here. How far aren't particularly involved gameplay, but they're effective. Whoa, flying tank. Bye bye. And I'm not sure what hit me there. I think it's a proxy fuse. No problem, just ripped off my skid. By the way, I'm doing this post match commentary uh, because I didn't have time to set up my microphone when I recorded this. I'm not sure what's going on with the game with those diagonal black bars. But oh well. So yeah, I've only got one more video to do on the TAM2 IP with this post-match commentary. And then it'll be back to my normal. Let me know what you think of this. I get this guy's barrel. Annoyingly he's gonna smoke up I think. Yeah he is. So I just leave my laser designated there. Oh no, why did I do that? I should just left it there and hope that hit him. But I think it already missed. Um, I'm gonna try and get shot at this guy between the buildings. I'm quite close now, I probably should have moved further out before I started doing this. Oh, and by the way, I just noticed I actually only have two stingers, I thought I had four for some reason. Now I'm going to try and hit this guy. I did manage to kill the 2S38, but I'm too close to hit this guy. I should have moved out, I'm less than a kilometre away. Now try and won't blank him, but that was kind of a waste, I should have just turned around, but who said helicopter players were smart? Now anyway, I think I hear a jet, hopefully it's not one to kill me. 
Hmm. Oh well, two kills aren't, isn't too bad for my first PvP helicopter game. Or at least in this helicopter. I'm not sure if the Cobra counts. Now, unfortunately I don't have enough spawn points to get any guided missiles because I did bad in the Concept 3 in this game, so now you get to see dumb fire rockets. Um, the rockets that the G-Lynx gets are the Hydras, which have different ballistics to the Mighty Mouses that I'm used to on the Cobra. Sorry for blinding you there. As I said, I haven't set a button yet. The keybind still haven't to this day, a month later. More than a month, I think. I'd have to check when this is recorded. Still using my thermals just to see if I can spot anyone. There's a guy over there. Unfortunately, with these rockets, you have to gain quite close. Fortunately, I'm a very fast helicopter. But as you can see, it Still turning pretty well for a helicopter. I'm just trying to line myself up straight, that way I don't drift while I fire the rockets. That's what the banking left and right is for. Try and get that arrow in the centre of my screen straight up. Bad shots on that guy. Going too fast for my own good now. I'll try and hit this guy for that. Going too fast. And goodbye. Uh, bagel Panzer got me. Sometimes you can be a wee bit fast for your own good. But that's okay. Okay, dumbfire rockets, take two. I'm getting locked by something. Not sure what. Probably an SPA. If I had how fast this would have been great. But unfortunately, I was only bringing out the Concept 3 in this. Fuck, oh, that made me jump. Never mind, it was a Roland. It was a Flakrak Panzer. That, Flarak. Whatever that is. I got hit by a Roland. So yeah, not good. Now, this game here is from a replay. I'm showing it because I had this after I stopped recording, and I think it's pretty good. Here I am in the Concept 3, about to, uh, well you'll see, you can actually see him through the buildings, I accidentally bumped this M1. Concept's not so good for urban warfare. But anyway, Abrams shoots him, I can't get in the Abrams way, um, not so good by killer's loader. He's trying to machine gun me, I know that I'm going to out-reload him, and Goodbye. Now I help this Abrams repair, so I guess no harm, no foul. Um, just captured Bravo. And now I'm about to drive off, or attempt to. Uh, that AGS just got my strike it, just got So now I'm wondering where this guy is. Hoping I can find him. However, no. He had snuck up behind the entire team. But no matter, because now I get Hellfires. Now I apologise, there is going to be some flashbangs. So, yeah. I really should have set the keybind for that. But anyway, I've got my Hellfires. I'm not even sure where I fired that first one. Annoyingly, the replay cam seems to be playing through the blade, even though I don't think it was. I think I get hit by a proxy fuse here. Ugh. Um, but helicopter damage models are busted, so I'm fine. I didn't even see that MiG-21 in the game. Oh, actually, maybe I did. Anyway, my team's done quite well, and there aren't many people up, as you can see. But then I noticed that they got on C. And I just barely spot this weasel from the hedge with my thermals. 
So I lock onto him and fire. I didn't know it was a weasel at the time. I felt kind of bad for this. I could have just machine gunned him. Can't hit him with my cannon. I forgot to mention this thing gets chaff and flares. So yeah, once again wondering where on earth everybody is. I didn't see that ZSU-37-2 before. I'm not sure what the strike is doing all the way out there. I didn't notice him in the game. That's basically at the big point of the um, Fields of Normandy map. I see that ZSU starting to move, so he gets a hellfire. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm kind of racing for kills against friendlies, but I got him, so that's good. Chrysanthema, I should have been more scared of him than I was, but I didn't know it was Chrysanthema at the time. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't get any kind of ballistics computer due to being a utility helicopter. That would have made the Hydras a lot easier to use. Anyway, at this point, I'm thinking I might as well head back to base, and then I realise how many few players are left, so... I think screw it, I've still got three ATGMs. I see that guy. Fire on him, however, too late. Now, yeah, waste of a Hydra. I don't know why I fired on him again. I think I was just hoping someone would spawn in while the Hellfire was still in the air. I see that dead body, and he looks kind of like a alive person, but he wasn't. I see that SU-25 kill my friendly, but I'm not quite sure where he is, so... There he is. I don't... Oh, do I? I can't remember if I... Yes, I throw a hellfire at him because I figure it's more likely to hit him than a stinger. Oh no, I accidentally shoot the hellfire. I meant to shoot the stinger. And the stingers actually have decent range. I got a hit on him, but the stingers have no explosive mass and the SU-25 is a tank, so... I only get the assist, but pretty happy with that. And we win this match quite comfortably. So yes, I mainly wanted to show this for the fact that I got a killed a main battle tank in a Concept 3. But this was after another game, and you're about to see what this game's like. So back to normal gameplay, full disclosure, this game's mostly about the Concept 3. That's why I put it at the end, helicopter gameplay, I don't actually get any time to do anything in my helicopter. So, but yeah, this was kind of an insane game from the Concept 3, but you'll see later. I don't get an ace or anything, but still, given the fact I'm at 10.0 in a 4.3 vehicle, even though this isn't that bad from the fact that this was a real cat prototype, so it's from the 70s, so it kind of fits in. See my friendly shooting there, and start thinking about heading towards those main battle tanks that are marked on the map. Yeah. That was quite lucky. I don't have a stabilizer, but somehow reacted faster. And then I see that other medium tank marked on the map. That's an Abrams, I think. So I shoot. For some reason, he just tanks that round. I should have adjusted my aim to the right. But anyway, he swings his turret around. Fortunately, somebody else kills him. And he doesn't get his turret onto me. 
So it's just this number two. <clears throat> Unfortunately, because this is my second spawn, I did nothing in my first spawn. Uh, I can't spawn a helicopter yet. I see a poom that's just killed a challenger up on that bridge. I didn't see it at the time. So, I ignore him. Start looking for the person on B. There's actually... that Puma was still behind me on the bridge, I think. I just saw him on the map. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might have been a slight down tier. I actually... No, there's an M1 KVT. Oh, that was a standard Abrams, so no, that's 10-0. That's just... I forgot that at these higher tiers, there are lots of stuff that people up tier. Just due to there being less stuff at high tiers, particularly lap tanks get up tiered. So that pin is still only 9-0 I think for some reason. So I think, I'm thinking here that I might have enough for some hellfires if somebody kills me, however my team's done so well this game. But there's not really many people around other than the person on A. They're capturing it. A behind me, but I don't bother my stuff, self and stuff like that. I hear that gunshot, so go around this corner. Unfortunately, the Leo on the corner got killed before I could get to him. So as I said, I'm kind of driving towards this spawn, hoping someone will come and kill me. But you'll see how that goes in a second. I hear something around this corner. I see this guy. And somehow I have quicker reactions than him despite not having a s stabilizer. S Suck it, Mr. Stabilizer Man. But then this guy in front of me kills me. I was thinking, oh yeah, I get killed. But then somebody else kills him. But then somebody in their spawn starts to shoot me. I don't know how I ended up on this set of stairs, don't ask stupid questions. Can't see the guy that's shooting at me, but then this guy spawns. And that's me out of the game. But anyway, yes, that was quite an insane run in the concept. Unfortunately, not enough time to do anything in my helicopter. And we win. On tickets. Woo. I don't know why I sound like that's a bad thing. That's normal for ground battles. So anyway, as you can see, 10.0 British teams are pretty good. Would I say that the J-Lynx is worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. It's pretty good once you get into it, and it's also pretty good for um, PvE, because it's got the Hellfires as a default weapon. So yes, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.